Hi, just a quick follow-up video to my fax uh, teardown, the dumpster fax I got. Um, I forgot to, I was going to include this in the video, I completely forgot. So here's a uh, separate uh, video looking at the linear scan head inside this uh, fax machine slash um, scanner copier. Now this is interesting, the scanner head, there's this module in here, and I noticed a little drop-down latch there, so if you push it, push it like that, it drops out. Isn't that neat? There you go. So there's the, there's the sensor head. That just, it comes out nicely and it's got an illumination uh, array in there and um, then the actual linear um, scan head itself. So oh, we could have a look at that under the uh, microscope. Now this is only a monochrome unit, so this is not uh, a color. I don't know how many grayscales it's got effect effectively, um, but let let's have a look at how this head works, because it normally, like, it sits like that. It just had a couple of glue points there, which I've broken, and it's basically got a bit of glass on top, okay? It's got, I'll show you inside better in a minute, because you can't see often see through the glass there, but you can see that there's some sort of array in there, okay? And there's some sort of, like, um, you know, larger sections, and that would be to let the light through. So, if we actually flip this PCB off like this, you'll see that we've got two parts to, well, essentially three parts to this. One is um, these little channel things, right? They actually go down and they've got a window which then goes down onto the paper because when you're scanning of course it's you know it's completely dark in there so you've got to illuminate the page and you've got to do it you know consistently right across the board illumination is um like 90 percent of it really um if you don't get the illumination right you're going to screw it up so what they're doing as you can see down here they've got little leds down there little leds a lot of people complain when i call it lead here in Australia, it's lead. It's not LED. <laughs> when I was a boy. Anyway, um, yeah. So let's 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 take a look at the PCB down here first. Okay, so you can see. Ah, so I've got my Tagato microscope here. We've got 40 times magnification, but we will go under the better Olympus microscope later. You can see that is a little lead there. So lead spaced at um, various intervals, and they would simply light up through these uh, channels here and then light up the page through that. So they're just all in series there, are they? Just like a regular lead strip uh, kind of thing. They've probably got a constant, you know, maybe a constant current driver there, something like that. So that's the connector there. So that's driving all that. And then we've got whatever that is. I don't know. What that is, maybe that's a light sensor, perhaps? I don't know, I don't know. If you know what that is, leave it in the comments down below, because I can't see any, like, you know, there it is there. Does it actually, like, you can't see how it connects or anything, so I'm not sure what's doing there. That's not, that's not the sensing array. The sensing array is, of course, all of these little tiny, bits down here. You can see them, and I'll show you under the microscope in a minute, but that's obviously the pitch between those will be the resolution of this thing. So this is a line sensor array, of course. Um, so it's a CCD sensor array, and it's got like one line, so it might have, I don't know, 4,000 of these little sensing CCD elements here, 4,000 of them by one. <laughs> so even though it looks like it might have maybe two, one above the other, um, that's not, that's not how it's going to work. There's just going to be a sensing element there, and then you can see circuitry on the uh, silicon above that. So if we get it out, it's all about exposure, really. There we go. If I turn that down. Yeah, so we can see the bond wires going over to the various pads and whatnot. That's interesting, huh? And it looks like they've got the, like, in major groups. It looks like, because you can kind of sort of see that they're split. There, there seems to be like some split in it, so it looks like it's coupled. I don't know if that's like, because they would, 
like they would shift these out of course they would they would have like there would be one big latch line that goes latch all of them all at once and then uh, it would shift them all out and then the stepper motor of course moves the head across a tiny one uh, pixel forward and then latch scan the entire array, shift it out, shift the data out, and I don't know, it might be 8 bits per pixel or something like that, so, you know, there's a fair bit of data, multiply that by however many pixels, you know, however many thousands of pixels across, there's a lot of data that has to be shifted out quite quick from this linear scan head here, and yeah, and so they only need one pixel wide, and then of course that's why the scan head goes across the, and if you've ever tried to stick your head in there, when when it's doing it, um, it's really bright. And it, it just nah, it scans across and yeah, so it's got that little stepper motor that goes step, 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 although it does it so fast that it appears as though it's like a, a really uh, smooth sweep across, but it's actually a essentially a stepper motor in there that just steps at once and then boop, um, and reads out all the data. So that's really cool, huh? So there you go, so that's the array head, so yeah, I don't know what that's doing, I, I, yeah, I'm gonna presume, maybe, like a light sensor or something, now this is interesting, this, they've got these things here, and these look like LEDs, right, they look like LEDs, but there's not, right, there's nothing connecting these at all, right, there's no electrical connection to these, they, they just sit in there, so they are, I guess they appear to be some sort of, like, lens kind of thing, but the pitch of those doesn't match up with the massively fine pitch that's along the actual silicon sensor head there, right? That's embedded on the die there. I mean, you know, you can't, it's hard to see there. Like, it's, you know, well over an order of magnitude difference in the pitch between, you know, these, between the array elements and those um, lenses up there. So they're not they're not LEDs. So yeah, I, these don't seem to be LEDs, right? Because these ones out here, they're your LEDs, right? The little bond wires go into them. So yeah, I'm not sure how that's actually working. There, I don't know, if you've got any thoughts, leave it in the comments down below. But you can see by the yellow there that it's actually, these are actually um, see-through. They're little see-through, like, windows, lenses, something like that. And the reason that the yellow is because it's got a yellow post-it note under it. Trust me, I can <laughs> I can see through that. If I take away the post-it note, <laughs> yeah, they're, you know, you, you can actually see through them. So, that is rather interesting. They're like little, little bubble lenses at a way greater pitch than the sensing array. There, there we go, you can see that. Interesting, huh? So I don't quite know how that works, and they do actually line up. So these LEDs down here, these are, these are going to line up with these big channels down here, okay? So obviously those LEDs just, like, uh, you know, flood fill light in there, and then it just goes on the angled plastic, and then it lights up the paper through the bottom, like that. And then, it looks like the sensor array actually does sort of like flip up over onto that bubble lens array. So, yeah, it's interesting. I would have thought that that would distort it in some way. Yeah, I don't know my optics. Maybe they, maybe they do that for some sort of, like, optical reason. Like, I, I couldn't even pull out the words off the... <laughs> couldn't even pull out some wank words off the uh, top of my head. But, you know, refraction and all sorts of, you know, um, optical type things. Optical's not my field, so <laughs> I can't even pull out some wank words there. But you know what I mean, hopefully. So, but but that's interesting, is it not? Um, that they have just a, a sort of like an array. I don't know if they're curved or what, because they're actually embedded... Can I actually get that out? Hold on to your hat. I got the plastic out. No, it's not going to fall out. But I would have thought that would distort the image. And that seems to be the only way that light's getting through to the sensor. So that's interesting. So it must be, you know, some more patterning or, you know, something, something like that, perhaps. Oh, look at that. Got it. There you go. So we've got the glass plate. And then we've got that. It's quite thick, isn't it? Look. Okay. So it's kind of like an optical zebra strip. 
if that's like for want of a better word that's how i would describe it like an optical zebra strip and they're like staggered there yeah if you know the name for that i'm going to call that like an optical zebra strip because that <laughs> that is fascinating and that's really thick that's like five millimeters thick and it's just like like light pipes just like staggered light pipes like that but this sensor array is like an order of magnitude greater pitch than that so i would have thought you know the little breaks in there would have like distorted your image or something but i don't know please optical experts leave it in the comments down below a huge five millimeter optical zebra strip light pipey thing and that's the lens array that goes over your optical sensor strip like that so once again once so that kind of lines up for those being some sort of light sensor perhaps just to you know uh just to detect that the light's there and it's all even and i don't know maybe it can do some calibration adjustment for based on light output or something like that perhaps for each individual section but you'd have to do it on like a whole section basis because it looks like they only oh no they've probably got two there it's an odd pitch they don't seem to have two of those per thing over here so i don't i don't know not quite sure what's going on there anyway Let's go over the microscope and uh, see if we can see down at the individual um, sensor and silicon uh, circuitry level. And if I get that array under my Olympus microscope here, you can actually see that they're all they're all absolutely identical. These individual uh, this is 400 times mag. I I think yes, I think I've got that right. Uh, and can see that they're all identical there's no there's no filter it doesn't appear to be any sort of filter on any of them sorry my stage is a bit how you're doing here there you go if you want to decode that knock yourself out <laughs> they look absolutely identical but there you go um so the difference between the, the pitch between those is going to be the resolution of the uh scanner obviously so it's a you know however many pixels wide by one pixel in this particular case that's the actual that's the actual sensing element i can take it back to 200 times yeah so there's a bond wire up the top there for example and got some extra circuitry up the top whatever that's doing scroll across there yeah you can see one of the bond wires so nothing else doing there take that back to 100 times there you go, 200 and 400 times mag. It's slightly off there. It's not the world's best microscope, although it is quite capable. So it's interesting that there looks like there's a little array just above the ele the sensing element there. There looks like there's a little array. Is that some sort of like buffer array or something like that? I I don't know. If you know your semiconductor. <laughs> <laughs> layout um uh, please leave it in the uh, comments down below so that's interesting is it not um yeah there doesn't seem to be any extra uh you know filter or anything over the top of those elements which makes sense they're just relying on all the external uh parts of that this is just a linear sensor array and how many like levels that's got how many bits um i don't no how many uh grayscales essentially because this is not a color sensor so you don't see any there's no rgb array if this was a color sensor you'd probably have three separate elements in there each with its own rgb filter over the uh top you'd have like three in a line or three next to each other or however it uh works but of course this is a fax machine this is not a full-on color copier so this is a uh, just a monochrome uh, laser printer and fax uh, machine and scanner so it's not going to um, scan in color so that's why we get an array and we don't see any uh, filter elements at all but anyway that's that's really cool huh so if you like that give it a big thumbs up as always discuss down below catch you next time